I don't know if you saw this. You're you're not on TikTok, so I'm not on TikTok, so we didn't see it on TikTok. Oh, no, but yeah. I I ran into uh, uh, someone on Twitter who posted about this weird trend. It's called vanilla wife TikToks. So basically, you have these whores, these modern women who've slutted up uh, and wasted away their twenties, uh, maybe even their thirties. Let's imagine this is this woman, this hoe is like talking to her ex boyfriend. They're saying stuff like, "Oh, when you're having sex." vanilla sex with your new vanilla wife you're gonna regret and think about all the exciting sex and exciting times that we had together and she's boring and i'm exciting so you're the loser in this equation they have you know rearranged the words a little bit the messages can be a little different but it's essentially women who have lost men those men have gone on to marry other women and to console themselves or to put a a solve on their wounds they just imagine this scenario where this guy he's got a boring woman she's not sexy and exciting like i am and uh he's just gonna live a vanilla life with a vanilla wife and sucks to be you man it's still awesome to be me even though i'm 40 and i don't have a husband but it sucks to be you it's disturbing that it has enough people doing this to be a trend because basically that means that there's tons of women who are in this situation although we knew that but I don't know that normies know this, but there are a lot of women out there who are hurtling towards a crushing, impending realization that they fucked up, their life didn't turn out the way they want, and they can rationalize all they want about how the guys that dumped them and went on to marry some other woman, how that no, that woman's so boring anyway. Uh, they can make those rationalizations, but they are going to be uh, on antidepressants soon and for the rest of their lives. So have you seen a lot of these TikToks? Like, are, are they are they really? Um, I only saw the ones in the old, article. Undesirable women, like the ones the ones in this no, article. No, I wouldn't look, say they're old and yeah. undesirable. No. Yeah, yeah, because they they look uh, they look fine. Yeah, I wouldn't say they're old and undesirable, but they're certainly not super young. And mm-hmm. based on the way they're behaving, I think we can project what their future holds. Right? We can extrapolate. Just the mere fact that they are this bitter about what the ex-boyfriend is doing and they are creating this fever dream about how the the new wife is vanilla and boring and sucks. I, I just I just think that uh, this is very emblematic of a certain class of women. It's not good for society, man. We've, we, we're both on record saying that, okay, the best thing for society is for nuclear families to form and form early. And to stay together, that's best for children, that's best for the tax role, <laughs> that's best for human productivity, that's best for happiness, that's best for satisfaction, that's best for everything. And this is just one more crack. You know, and not to make too big of a deal of, deal of it because, uh, you know, it's not like, oh, these uh, bitter women on are doing stuff on TikTok, then tomorrow China's going to invade. No, that's not how it's going to break down, but... It is just another crack in society. And over the long haul, these cracks add up. Or maybe they don't add up, but they may stem from some root, deeply rooted issue that, that you know creates fissures. These small fissures, albeit, but you keep seeing them here and there and everywhere. And here's a small one. Here's a small one. Here's a small one. Sooner or later, either the small ones add up or they all came from one big one that we're not paying attention to. And uh, I think we both realize, we both think that it's uh, you know the failure of the nuclear family that is the deepest fissure. This, these women, uh, these women in 1950 wouldn't be on TikTok complaining about their ex boyfriend's new wife. They'll be married with kids, <laughs> right? Yeah. This you know this is touching on kind of a uh, I mean the underlying trend I, I think is worth talking about, which is just basically people trying to one up each other uh, on social media, and, and somehow that has produced a world where so-called vanilla you know vanilla behavior or vanilla activities are somehow deemed uh less less worthy it's obviously an an unsustainable trend you can't keep one-upping and not only that but people get old and die so there's just too many forces that make this unsustainable the mere notion of posting on social media is already kind of it feels like it's showboating it's, or whatever. It, it, it's it's against but the, it, it reveals the idea. They think they think to... it. They think it. It's it, they think it speaks to their confidence and how awesome they are. But it really anybody with a brain 
can see immediately what sort of insecurity it reveals. Yeah, like I'm yeah, insecure true. about the fact I don't have a husband, and now my ex boyfriend has a wife. I'm just gonna call her all sorts of names. Right, we right. see right through you. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It's even more obvious than than the bully in like when you're getting bullied in school. It's not so obvious that you know there's a an insecurity issue going on. But uh, well, yeah, I, there's lots of social media behavior that I just feel it's just so obvious and I can see right through it. Another one of those is you know when people they have a significant other and they just on social media they keep saying oh I love you oh blah 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 oh we have the greatest relationship like why are you <laughs> why are you saying this out here in social media. <laughs> don't you guys live with each other just go over to the, to the other room and say to their face it's obvious a, that they yeah. mean for me to see it though because they want to yeah, project yeah, yeah. that so we could have such we have the best relationship relationship couple goals or whatever relationship goals right yeah yeah and Th- that would be such a such a good study yeah part see, of it you know, is like, trying to you know like you said like trying to do the social media oh my life is so great thing but i think part of it is trying to c- convince others and also themselves that they have mm-hmm. the greatest relationship right right and these right. women part of it is trying to convince themselves that oh i didn't fuck up that guy's a loser he's he's the one that lost even though he's yeah, happily yeah, yeah. married right now i'm great yeah. i have cats i have a nose ring uh i have <laughs> sex with different guys on tinder every week my <laughs> life is my life is the good life yeah i mean yeah it's it's the therapy right Right. And if I tell enough people on social media that I won and my life is awesome and his is just vanilla and boring, then they'll be convinced. But who are they really trying to convince? I, I really think it would be an interesting study just to see what, you know, what the connection is between people who are posting about relationship goals and divorces. Although, yeah, you, I, you wouldn't need to do that study because I'm pretty sure we all know what the Oh yeah, we all, I think I think we're just we're, we hit yeah we, we hit the nail on the head already. 